update on the Fairmont and a do-it-yourself homemade rotisserie for Fox Body cars. So as you can see, the chassis is now up in the air. And if you come take a look, this is my homemade rotisserie design. Uh, I bought two engine, Harbor Freight engine stands off of Craigslist for 40 bucks. So that's what this piece at the top is in this. It has two bolts that you tighten down. You can position it every 45 degrees. I drilled this the holes to match the bolts. So you just tighten those down and you can hold it in any position. Well, every 45 degrees you can hold it in position. I don't know if this is quite tall enough to fully spin the car because these pieces, this piece of steel I had laying around, I cut in half and I measured it out and I think I can spin the car, but it'll be awfully close. Uh, the rest of it is just steel I had laying around. Uh, the car is fairly light, probably about five or 600 pounds because two people can pick up either end. So, eh, maybe 650, I don't know, but. Anyways, it's up in the air. I'm ready to start fixing some rust on it. This probably won't happen anytime soon because it's getting close to winter and I have other things to do. So, if you take a look at the back here. This uh, piece here is basically just a copy of the one in the front. So, and mounted to the bumper brackets. Now, all Fox body cars that I've played with have the bumper brackets in the same spot. So, I think this particular DIY rotisserie will work on any chassis that's a Fox body Ford chassis. So, well, until I see you again, that's it.